Alright guys, after missing two, maybe three weeks of Saturday night snack in a movie, we are back. I went on a little vacation, I ran across a couple of states, all the way down to Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas. Now I am home and I am ready to kick back with some awesome snacks and an awesome movie. This has been a super crazy busy week, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to plan. So going into this episode, I had no idea what movie or what snack we were going to have. So I went out to the $1.25 tree, spent about an hour there, and I found what I think is going to be an awesome Saturday night snack and a movie. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a dork. I did have a couple of ideas of movies I wanted to do, but once I got there and started looking around, I decided to go over to the DVD section, and things just kind of started falling in place. Now, sometimes you can find good movies at the Dollar Tree, sometimes it's just a bunch of stuff you've never heard of. This, I'm hoping, is sort of a mixture. I've never heard of this movie before, but I'm hoping it's at least decent. It is called The Legend of Halloween. It's about like an evil pineapple ghosty guy or something. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet, but I have watched the trailer on YouTube. It looks like it's decent for a movie night. And in a minute, you're going to see exactly what I mean by once I got in the store, everything started just coming together. And that's how I landed on this movie. So make sure you give me a thumbs up, a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and come with me to the $1.25 tree. And let's get this movie started. Who's ready for movie night? Okay, let's just start navigating around here. Look at this. They have these little poppets. We used to get these, we called them throw down bangs. They're like those little white pieces of paper that are twisted with little exploding rocks in them. And you throw them at the ground and they explode. You see how quickly I get distracted. Look at this, they also have party poppers. You pull that string and it shoots out like little streamers and stuff. I mean, the Dollar Tree totally rules. They always have all kinds of awesome things like this that you can use for, well, just about anything, but movie nights is the best. I don't know what we would use throw down bangs for. <laughs> Tell me if you guys know a good movie for like the 4th of July. Anyways, okay, so look at this. They have all this Hawaiian stuff out, like all these lays here in all different colors. Oh my gosh, look at this. They have tiki tumblers and pineapple mugs, I guess you'd call it. Look at this one. This one looks like a Squidward's house. I absolutely love all this stuff, like this island and tropical themed stuff. What the heck, look at this. It's a giant ice cream cone cup with a straw. That is hilarious. You could put a ginormous milkshake in there. Look at this, they have pineapple shaped bowls. How cool is this? Lime, I think it's supposed to be a lime shaped bowl. You put the lime in the coconut. I just got in the door and got started, but I think I might be coming back to this aisle because I love that stuff. Super miracle bubbles to go. What the heck? Okay, wait a minute, what is this? Look at this, super chalk. It's like a hockey puck. You could do the Mighty Ducks and have Super Chalk. Not, you couldn't eat the Super Chalk though. <laughs> Mini 4th of July top hats. Oh my gosh. If you had a little dog or a cat, you could put this on your cat. And look at this, they have all this graduation themed stuff here since everybody's graduating this time of year. You could have a movie night with Billy Madison and put up this kind of stuff. Back to school, back to school, to show my dad I'm not a fool. And I love all this 4th of July stuff, like the America themed stuff. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what kind of a movie night you would have 
for 4th of July. Oh man, these buckets rule. They're like giant popcorn buckets. I think I showed you these before. I love them, but they're just so huge. What in the world is this? Look, diving octopus. I think this is for swimming pools. Like you throw it in the pool and then you go diving after it. Look, it has weird tentacles. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. I should get this for the hot tub. It's a wind-up swimming turtle. Holy crap, you wind it up right there, and then you put it in the water, and he swims through the water. Watch this, watch the arms go. <laughs> and they also have the same swimming lobster. I think that's supposed to be a lobster. Looks like a red alligator. Look at this, I'm totally getting distracted from movie night again because they have so much cool stuff. I just want to get a whole bunch of these and put them in my front yard. What are these called? Whirly gigs, I think? Pinwheels? You know what, just for the heck of it, let's go on down through here and find the DVDs and just see if they would happen to have anything new because you never know. I think they're actually all the way down here. No, I was wrong. They're in this aisle here. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of DVDs and some Blu-rays all along here. It's usually like stupid movies, but you never know. Let's take a look. Look, oh my gosh, this one's called Hawaii. If you were looking to do a movie night strictly out of the Dollar Tree, you could get this one and you could get all that Hawaiian stuff. Oh my gosh, this one is so much better. How perfect is this? The Legend of Halloween. It's like a Hawaiian Halloween movie. That would be perfect. Movie night, straight from the Dollar Tree, Legend of Halloween, and all that awesome Hawaiian decor over there. All right, I am definitely setting that one aside because I almost can't walk away. That one is basically meant to be. Look at this, The Day of the Living Dead. I've never heard of that one. Okay, yeah, nothing else there is any good, but I'm definitely getting this. The Legend of Halloween. It's Halloween on the big island of Hawaii, so excitement and mischief are in the air. I like it already. Three young friends, Kai, Eddie, and Lilena, uncover a mysterious idol in a secret cave while catching some waves at sunset. That's enough for me, that does it. I'm definitely getting the legend of Halloween. Okay, we will revisit the Hawaiian Isle in just a minute here, but I wanna see what kind of snack we could get. What kind of tasty snack could we get that would be like Hawaiian themed or even Halloween slash Hawaiian themed? It's gotta be something like some kind of pineapple or I don't know, something like that. Coconut. What in the world are slurpers? What the heck? Strawberry squeeze candy. Oh my gosh, that actually looks really good. Okay, so we got strawberry. We have green apple. Are there different kinds? Oh, uh, that's a strawberry. Is this? It looks like they're all strawberry and green apple. But wow, those actually do look pretty dang good. I don't know if they're Hawaiian, but they look good. Oh wait, look, they have sour ones and they have the ones that are not sour. I'm not really a sour candy type of person, so this would be my choice, but I don't think I'm gonna get one. Okay, here we go, this would work. We have Mamba Tropics. It's these Mamba candies and they are flavored like mango, orange, apple, kiwi, pineapple, and coconut. There you go, there's some candy for our movie. Look at this, I think I need to get one or two of these for the, the theater. They're like a candy jar that you fill up with just little candy that you dunk your hand in there and grab them. Okay, so I think we might have some of these at home still, but here's Almond Joys that have coconut in them. I'm not a Mike and Ike's person, but here's Tropical Typhoon Mike and Ike's. Ooh, okay, now this looks good. Look at this. Welch's Sparkling Pineapple Soda. I'm definitely getting one of those. Oh, look, they also have Strawberry Kiwi. I think that's more of a juice, though. But look at this. If you just wanted water, you could get the Fiji water. Or, oh my gosh, look at all the drinks down here. These are all like coconut 
flavored waters. How gross is that? You would never get out of the bathroom if you drank that stuff. Look, I think we saw these before too. Freeze-dried pineapples. Guys, I'm telling you, Dollar Tree for the win when it comes to movie nights. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. Hawaiian scented air fresheners. We're really gonna bring this Hawaiian movie home. Oh my gosh, they even have fruit bars that are strawberry Frieza, lime, and pineapple. Yummy. Look at this freezer pops. These are a buck 25, guys. Look, tropical punch and kiwi strawberry and blue raspberry. They even have canned chunk pineapple. That is delicious. Look, they have mandarin oranges fruit cocktail down here. Oops, I dropped one. Pineapple tidbits if you don't want the big ones. Look, they have individual servings of pineapple tidbits. You could get some snack packs or Kool-Aid gels. Look, strawberry kiwi Kool-Aid gels and mix the pineapple in with that to make a little fruit salad. Okay, we're 100% doing that. I think we'll go for the pineapple tidbits and the mandarin oranges. Now, usually I would say uh, fruit from the Dollar Tree, I don't know. But these are Libby's, that's a good brand. So, buck 25, I'm in. Look at this, guys, a whole shelf of Hawaiian punch. Orange Ocean, Fruit Juicy Red, Lemon Berry Squeeze. This is not Hawaiian punch, but it is Kiwi Strawberry Tampico. All right, I can't resist. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Fruit Juicy Red. You see how excited I get, guys? It's so much fun to come out here and just look around and see what kind of an awesome movie night you can make. Now, I feel like I'm missing something from our fruit salad though. Do mini marshmallows go in fruit salad? It seems like they do. So I'm gonna keep an eye out even though I haven't seen any in here, but I haven't been looking for them, so I don't know. And what do you know right here, Jet Puffed Mini Marshmallows will take them. And I notice they're right beside the coconut flakes. I'm not really a big coconut person, but I'm just saying it's coconut. And look at this, if you were really on a budget and you needed awesome drinks for your party for everybody, they have these things right here. Look at this, we have Hawaiian Punch, we have Snapple Fruit Punch, Kiwi Strawberry, uh, here's Sunkissed Pineapple, and what these are, are singles to go. There are six of these in here, six little packets, and you mix each one with some water and it makes your drink. So instead of having like one drink for $1.25, you get six. Okay, let's make our way back over to the Hawaiian aisle here. Okay, I am gonna pass on the grass skirt this time, <laughs> but I definitely want a Hawaiian lei. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go for the bright yellow right here. That is perfect. Now, I need an awesome cup for my drink, and there are so many choices here, guys. How crazy is this? Look at this. We have some that are shaped like oranges and palm trees. I showed you the pineapple and the tiki uh, tumbler. Look, this one's shaped like a shell. How cool is that? Look at these. You're one in a melon. How cool is this? The, the straw wraps around the entire cup. I need to get some of those for the hot tub, man. Tropical vibes. Look, they even have coconuts down here. It's a coconut mug with a straw. As much as I like that coconut mug, I think I like this one better. <laughs> Look at this. It's a pineapple and a straw. Okay, I'm definitely getting that. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like a chips and dip holder that's shaped like a flip-flop. What the heck? And I definitely have to get one of these bowls for our jello salad. So, I love this one right here, but I think I'm going to go for the pineapple just because I got the pineapple mug. And look, they have a pineapple plate too. Look at this, they also have these awesome paper lanterns. They come with a little LED light in it. They unfold to make it like a ball, and then you hang it from the ceiling. Oh my gosh, Co cocktail stirrers that are shaped like pink flamingos. All right, I think we're done here, but I definitely want to stop by here and get my swimming frog. He is too cool to pass up. You're coming home with me, buddy. Okay guys, so I have laid everything out here that we just got. Not exactly everything, but the first thing that I want to start with is these Sure, sure Sense, I can't even say it, 
Hawaiian crystal beads. I think you just pull this top off. And then you gotta get this thing out of here. Take that off. Then the lid has holes in it. So, put it on there. And as you can see, if you didn't get a good look at it already, there's all these little tiny balls in here. And that actually smells pretty good. Kind of tropically. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna set that over there so we can smell the tropicalness while we are making our snack. Now, let's see, we got this lay, which I'll wait to put it on till the movie because I don't wanna get it in our snack. We got our little swimming turtle for the hot tub. So let me cut this off here because I'm very curious and anxious to see Mr. Turtle swim. In fact, let's go do that right now. All right, let's go ahead and get this opened up here. Okay, here we go, he's all wound up. There's your new home, sir. Oh my gosh, there he goes. <laughs> he came over first off to meet Mr. Duck Friend. All right. Wow, he just fills up with water too quick. All right, hold on, let me wind him up again. All right, one more time, let's watch him swim. There he goes. <laughs> How funny is that? Don't just go around in a circle, you crazy. Watch, he's, he's, starting, to, he's starting to struggle. He's gonna drown. All right, friend, I'll save you. Look, the arms are still going and everything. Well, I guess what could you expect for $1.25? All right, I'll leave you in there with your duck friend. We're going back in. Okay, anyway, so back to our snack. We got the Jet Puffed Mini Marshmallows. We got the Premium Mandarin Oranges. We got the Pineapple Tidbits. And we got two packs of Kool-Aid Gels. So I know that usually when you make fruit salad, you just make regular jello, but I wanted it to be quick and easy, so we're just going to use these Kool-Aid gels one at a time, just like this. I don't eat jello very often, but it is delicious. Now, I'm just going to go through here and kind of chop this up a little bit. Here we go. We got mixed up pretty good in there. Let's go ahead and add some marshmallows. Oh yeah, this is gonna be tasty. Put that up in there good. <laughs> now I do want a little bit of the juice in here. So a little bit of each. Then we're gonna drain the rest. All right, yeah, those are nice little pieces of pineapple. Dunk those in there. Get all that mixed up. Okay, so the fruit salad is pretty much made now, you could put this back in the fridge for a while, just so that it kind of firms up again, that jello. So, I washed my pineapple drink cup, and I washed my little pineapple bowl, in which I'm going to be putting my pineapple fruit salad. I did get both the sparkling pineapple soda and the Hawaiian Punch Fruit Juicy Red. I love this stuff, so I do want to take a little taste of it. Oh yeah, that's delicious. I think I'm gonna save that for later though, and I'm gonna go for the sparkling pineapple soda right in the pineapple. All right, there we go. And I love how the straw comes up through what looks like a palm tree, but it's actually just the top of our pineapple here. Ah, pineapple-y. We're gonna spoon out some of our pineapple fruit salad into our pineapple bowl. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks so tasty right here. We got our Almond Joys, we got our Lay, and I am ready for the legend of Halloween adventure. All right, before I head downstairs to watch the movie, let's have a little taste of our delicious Hawaiian fruit salad. I think I got a little bit of everything in there. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that really is delicious right there. That was quick and easy. Mmm. I'm gonna need a refill. All right, guys, I'm heading down to watch the movie. And make sure you post your pictures of your very own Saturday Night Snack in a Movie on the Facebook page, That Nate Guys and Gals. I will see you guys next Saturday.